Holy Spirit, we just thank you for this day, God. We thank you for the opportunity you've given us, God, with this platform, God, with this um, group, God, that you have made for us. See faith and joy, God. We just want you to get all the praise, the honor, and the glory. Holy Spirit, just come and have your way. Take all the nervousness away, Holy Spirit. I pray that your glory cloud, God, your kabod and your shekinah glory will just be with us. God, and we just want your will to be done, God. We just surrender and give you our all and give you everything, God. Because it's all about you, God. Hide us behind the cross, Holy Spirit. I pray that, God, when people watch this, God, they will feel your presence. It will be so tangible, God. Jesus, we just want more of you. God, we come with our oil as an as a offering, God. I pray that our, 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 our oil, God, that it will be a sweet fragrance to you. Yes. Jesus, have your way. In Jesus' mighty matchless name, amen. Hi, this is Sea Faith and Joy. Welcome to another video. Yes. Um, so today, we just wanted to just come and pray for 30 minutes just to allow the holy spirit to come and have its way move how you want to move because i know that when we open ourselves up to the holy spirit and we just speak in our heavenly language because in the scripture it talks about that the holy spirit is our is our advocate and, yes. and it's like our groaning and moaning to like he 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 interprets to our father our heavenly father in, in our, what our heavenly language is it's the perfect will when we speak in our heavenly language it's it's the perfect will of what the father wants in our life yes. what he's written about us in our heaven in our heavenly books that he wrote you know our future we just we just you know basically like just just being surrendered like allowing the holy spirit just to pour his oil and uh, just anoint us and just mm -hmm. have his way and i feel like too that god that the holy spirit will give us interpretations of our tongues yes. of what we're saying without knowing what we're saying we could think some things like you know think about like god i pray you heal this person while we're speaking in our heavenly language and another thing too the devil doesn't know what you're saying yes and also if you guys want to go ahead and just pray with us in your heavenly language yes. or even in english or um just to begin you know to just commune with the holy spirit yes. you can even begin to worship while we're speaking in tongues um just to the holy spirit so yes we're very very excited oh Okay, one thing, I feel like the Spirit is like anoint, you should anoint yourselves. Um, and it's just anointed oil. Um, basically, how it's anointed because it's olive oil, but you pray over your oil um, yes. and ask the Holy Spirit to just, you know, anoint this with His presence. And I tell you this when the Holy Spirit, when you pray over this and you like, you may be feeling not all that great. You can like anoint your throat if your throat is hurting or anywhere in your body where it might be hurting or just. It doesn't need to be for healing. It could just be for protection. Anything. Yes. This, this works. It, 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 because we believe. We put our faith in in God and trust Him. And so, I just wanted to like those people like get the anointed oil and anoint you guys before you start speaking in tongues. So that's what yes. I want to be obedient and get it. So. And while she's open up to get it ready, also a little backstory of oil is also something that I really didn't know, because um, of course our mom is an apostle. Um, before that she was that she was a pastor so we've been going she started that church when i was about like two so we've been going to church for like a really really long time and she would always you know anoint the people when they first came in and i really really understand why um and i was just like god why are, you know kind of like why and then i begin to read the new testament and it talks about how they would anoint the people yes. to be healed and i am expecting for he healing miracle signs and wonders to take place through this video being played um so i'm excited okay. and we just say this because that's what our mom slash apostle this is what she does when she ignores people so i anoint you in the mighty name of jesus and put it like a cross yeah your head i anoint you in the mighty name of jesus amen amen so now we're gonna go ahead and just start praying in the spirit Kitty under the dish, under the under the the under 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 the under
I Shabbat <laughs> 
Just this time and his presence. And there's something so powerful about just being still. There's something so powerful about being still that really just isn't really being taught or talked about a lot in the church. It's just being still. 
but it's something so powerful because when God tells you to be still and you do it, whether you're ministering, whether you're preaching, whether you're worshiping, and God says in front of all the people, because they don't matter, they matter to God, but they shouldn't matter to you if you're just you being used as a vessel. Your eyes should be fixed on him. Yes. But when he tells you be still, and you hear that still small voice, and there's two choices. Either you ignore it, or you listen to it. And when you're still, and you're seeking out God, it's a scripture, I believe, that he says that if you seek after him, he'll seek after you. And I'm paraphrasing. And I just begin to feel the weight in my hands, to feel the presence of God. Yes. Jesus. 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 Because that's who we want to please is Jesus. Jesus. I truly do believe that speaking in tongues is one of the most tangible ways to get into the presence of God. I've heard so many people say it's one of the easiest ways to go into the spirit because your flesh, you have to submit to the Holy Spirit to pray through you. And Some churches, you know, some people feel like, well, you know, tongues are past. There's not a move of tongues anymore. And it's not true. We have to begin to speak in tongues, to declare those things, to speak them out into the spirit. And I feel like the Holy Spirit was beginning to show me that he wanted us, he wants me to release this because of all the darkness and the hopelessness on social media there needs to be light and there are people who are also doing the work but I feel like the Holy Spirit was saying I want you all to do this jump in as well I want you all to speak and do this oh Jesus and I'm just so grateful I just feel freedom yes Ooh. like something just broke you know what I'm saying so I thank God. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, yourself to you. Why don't you just, you know. Um, this is a lot. It was a lot. Um, no, not much as he was speaking to me. It's just, I just, his presence. It's just, hmm. I just thought about the song by Fred Hammond, Holy. Holy. Yes. yes. The four and twenty all mm -hmm. fell down, casting down their golden crowns, crying, Holy, Holy. Worthy be Almighty One, which was and is and is to come, forever and forever, you are holy, holy, yes. Thank you, Jesus. angels surround his throne crying holy holy for the 
for the beautiful, for the many things he has done, the miraculous things, the beautiful things, everything that he has done. They just cry out holy because he's doing something new every time. Us having our breath in our lungs, that's a miracle. The way our body functions, that's a miracle. God made our bodies a certain way to function. And he, he has order. It's all in order. Yes. I feel like God is, he wants everything to be in order. Amen. I just thank God for his presence. For his Holy Spirit. Yes. so amazing thank you Jesus I'm just so thankful that he chose to you know put his presence on us because he didn't have to but he, he, he loves us so much he loves you so much The love of the Father. <laughs> Coming back to our first love. God cares about so much about us, you know, the little details which is what's talked about um, on Church Tuesday during yeah. testimony. One of our cousins had got on and he kept raising his hand because he just wanted to thank God and he didn't want to not, he didn't want to not thank God for those things. He did because he forgot. He was like, I'm sorry guys, I know I keep coming back, but you know, I just want to thank God for this, my family, his sister, the church, and it's just like and he's young, like twelve or thirteen. 12. And to see that in a young person in this generation is amazing. And God, he cares about those things. Yes. You know, even when we pray, you know, sometimes we might say amen. And they're like, oh God, and this, I, you know, we pray for that person or we pray for that thing, whatever it is. And God, he cares, even though he knows already what we're going to say, he cares to hear us say it. Yes. Yes. And you know, even when we were just praying, I was the Holy Spirit was just saying like just just you know, just kinda like let go. And I just kept looking like I was trying to like look without my eyes opening, you know, but just kinda like look to see like hey, where are we? I don't you know, I don't wanna over, you know, go and I wanna make sure that I, you know, stop the thing and everything like that. And but it's amazing how, like you said, like God cares where he still moves. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And it's just like, God, help me. And I know that praying in tongues is one of the most tangible ways. We've said this, but to even surrender. There's so many benefits yes. to praying in tongues that I feel like people don't get or Christians we don't operate in. Or as people much as don't teach. Should. They should teach this. Because, but sometimes it's because of, you know, and it's because people sometimes can be ignorant. Mm -hmm. You know, where they don't really know or they're working through their own faith because they feel like, you know, even how some people say like miracles are done with because they've allowed the enemy through their disappointment to tell mm -hmm. them that, you know, maybe God's done with miracles because I really, because, you know, they don't want to admit the fact that, you know, like I really believed and, and it didn't happen for me. And I don't understand why that didn't happen for me. So maybe God is done doing miracles because because I believe that, that God is real and I believe that he's a good God. So the only possible way that he didn't answer me and what I was believing for was good mm. was that he must not be doing miracles anymore. He must not be operating in that anymore. And but the hardest thing is to 
see the truth of understanding that Jesus said that we were going to do greater things. Yes. So, and we should be operating miracle signs and wonders. So the miracle signs and wonders are still happening and God is very capable of doing them. And I think what God is calling for is that deeper surrender to saying, God, even though you can, it's that Job type of faith yeah. where it's like, God, even though you can, you could get me out of this mess. You could deliver one of you know my family members or me from this sickness. I know that you can. Yeah. It, it, it's like, and God will, we have to stand in our faith. But it's like a lot of times, like even like, I think about, I think we watched one of like the Pure Flex movies where this little boy was believing for his mother to be healed of cancer mm -hmm. and she ended up passing away and the guy just began to be like, God is not real because even if, if he was real, he would never have let that happen to me. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like when we see those types of things, we don't really know what to say because of course we're not God, so we won't know. But even it talks about in the Bible, so everything that is hidden will be revealed. Mm -hmm. And so to me, it's just like, but to, but to build that altar, where it's like, God, I don't understand. God, that did not make sense. But I know that you're still a healer. Yeah. I know that you're still good. I know that you're still a way maker and a miracle worker. I surrender this to you. Yes. And a lot of times we fully surrender, some of the time, not all the time, but some of the time the Holy Spirit will then begin to give us revelation and understanding of why he allowed that to take to place. Because mm -hmm. he said that we're promised here on this earth to have trials and tribulations. But a lot of times we have to have discernment in the spirit realm, which is one of the benefits of also speaking in tongues. Because when you have discernment in the spirit realm, you'll begin to discern or ask the Holy Spirit, God, is this you allowing me to go through a trial? Or is this the enemy trying to oppress me? Mm. And as you begin yeah. to grow and mature in the Lord, you'll begin to kind of see the difference here. Like with Paul with a thorn in his side. Mm -hmm. he. A lot of people would have seen that as, oh, it's demonic because it's hurting me. Mm. He said, no, God placed it there to keep me humble. God placed it there to keep me down on my knees and surrendered and to depend upon him yeah. and God knows exactly what we need mm -hmm. and when we begin to believe that it's not to make ourselves oblivious or to try to make excuses for God but it's to truly say you know what God I know what happened but I'm just gonna surrender I feel like that's what God is asking you like, like that's what God just wants to help people to see God does love you like even what you were saying God does care for you you might be like how I'm in this situation things didn't happen the way that I feel like they should have and especially was where it really it really probably shouldn't have gone that way you know in our own minds but God is still moving God still has his hand on you and somehow and in some way he's gonna get the glory um recently I had just had a conversation with my mom and we just begin to just dive deep into really some deep hurts that I had experienced in life, some questions that I had that I feel like were unanswered, some things that I just didn't understand of why they happened to me or why my mind worked the way that it did. Um, and I think it's really happened just widespread around in this generation because mm -hmm. of the technology and the things that, you know, kids are exposed to, can be exposed to at a very young age. Um, and as I begin to, I, I told my mom, I just say, you know what? I honestly feel like it's not fair. Hmm. That it's not fair for, because what I was talking about was very, very dark. That was just playing in my mind. That would just be in my mind at a very young age, five and under. That I was like, God, how is this happening to me? Children shouldn't even be able to think in that way. Fathom that, you know, but it's a, but it's a feeling that's in me or it's a thought in me. And... I just felt like the Holy Spirit just began to speak to my mother, well, through my mother, and was just like, because you have to, it's not, not, it's not that it was necessarily, it's, it's more that God trusted you with that so that you would be able to help others in the time and season that he has you to. And she was like, it's not that God's not going to reveal it to you, but right now, it's like God has you ignorant of why so that you can truly understand the emotion of, the vulnerability of, this is not right. You know what I'm saying? This is not fair. But in spite of God, I will serve you and I will yes. worship you. It's the same thing with Job, right? God allowed him to be ignorant because it's almost like Job could feel more the weightiness of it more. Mm -hmm. I feel like Job was such a righteous man that if he knew God is testing me to get the glory because the enemy came to him. I feel like he might have been able to understand it a little bit more. Probably still would have been upset because how, all his kids were passed passed away you know what I'm saying but I think he probably would have worked through it because he was a righteous man but when you're ignorant and you don't know why but you said God I will still worship and praise you that's that's that special aroma that sweet aroma yeah. that we hear or we see in the Old Testament that God is getting his bride back to yeah. and Jesus Jesus and so I, I feel that just so strong 
that's what the Holy Spirit is asking that will you trust me even when you're ignorant even when you don't know why this is happening will you trust me will you trust me and surrender yeah, surrender <sighs> Because when you surrender, it's, man, it's just like, you don't have to worry about it anymore because you laid it on the altar. Mm -hmm. You gave it to God to, to yes. deal with it. Because it's not going to make sense to our minds, but God is all knowing. Yes. Yes. It's because, you know, you think about how is this going to work out, God, if I do this? That's where faith comes in. You have to, that's when you have to step out on faith. Yes. It might be hard. It might be challenging, but God, I, I give it to you. I surrender. I put it on the altar, God. And however you see fit, let your yes. will be done. Yes. Not our will, but his will. I forgot the scripture, but it talks about according to his purpose. Not our purpose, but God's purpose. God sent us down here for a reason. And of course, the enemy is going to try to bring distractions, temptations, all types of things to just throw us off course. But it's just like Peter walking on the water. We keep our gaze and our focus on Jesus. Yes. Everything else down here doesn't matter as long as we keep this yes. as our gaze and our focus. You know, it, it sometimes it gets hard, you know, when you wake up sometimes and sometimes the devil brings things or try to use somebody mm -hmm. or, you know, just like a, it could be your pet. It could be your spouse or a friend or a sibling or, you know, whoever in your life that's close to you could, you know, kind of bring something. And then you're just like, hold up. Even if whatever, you just like, God, you know, I give this to you. I surrender. Yes. I'm, I'm not going to focus on it. I'm going to focus on you. We love you all. Hope that you all enjoyed, enjoyed this video. video. Yes. Um, and hopefully you all will. Come see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And turn on the notification bell. Yes, to comment, yes. to share. Um, and you can also, at the end of the video, we'll show you all um, where we are on Instagram. Instagram. Mm -hmm. So you all can go ahead and start following us on that platform as well. And we'll see you all in the next video. Bye.